Hello everyone, today we're going to check a fuel pump operation. Here we have a 2000 Chevy Silverado with a 5.3 liter engine. For any vehicle that you want to test the fuel pump operation and its performance, you want to get manufacturer specifications so you, so you can have some numbers that you could actually be able to compare your readings to specifications and determine whether the pump is uh, working properly or if there's other issues. When you hook up a fuel pressure gauge, you're going to look at manufacturer specifications so how much pressure you're going to have key on engine off. When you start a car and turn off the vehicle, the pressure on your gauge should be able to hold the pressure. Sometimes you're going to have some residual pressure. It might have a drop for around maybe 5 to 10 PSI within 20 minutes or so, but the pressure should never drop to zero. If the pressure, as you turn off the car, the pressure starts to drop gradually, you might have a leak. Yes. This vehicle has a return type system. That means you have a pressure line and a return line. So you're going to be able to tap into the pressure line, hook up your pressure gauge, and compare your readings. You're also going to be able to use a vacuum pump. The vacuum pump, you can use it to measure vacuum. The engine produces vacuum. This is a return type system that has a fuel pressure regulator. The fuel pressure regulator works off manifold vacuum from the engine. So you want to measure the vacuum from the engine. The pressure on the engine will determine how much pressure you're going to have on your gauge because this has to respond to the driver's demand when they accelerate the throttle, air gets in, you want pressure to build up. So you have a fuel pressure regulator that normally controls around 10 PSI for pressure. So we're gonna be able to look at, according to these manufacturers, the specifications, the pressure regulator controls only 10 PSI. So your fuel pressure gauge should be able to determine that. And as you open the throttle, you should be able to see responses on pressure based on the position of the throttle, if the regulator is working properly. So we're gonna run different tests to check the performance of the pump, and we're also gonna check the performance of the fuel pressure regulator at the same time. First, locate the shredder valve. Then remove the fuse box cover. Locate the fuel pump relay. The fuel pump relay is right here. Once you identify it, remove the fuel pump relay from the fuse box. Set the relay aside. Now start the car. The engine will turn on, then it will shut off. As soon as the residual pressure that was on the rail, it gets used. So once the engine shuts off, you can hook up your pressure gauge to your pressure shredder valve tester. Make sure it's nice and tight so that you have no leaks. Now reinstall the fuel pump relay back. After you install the relay, you can start the car. Now you can cycle the ignition, key on engine off, make sure there's no leaks, start the car, and check your running pressure. The pressure is around 52 psi. It's fluctuating, the needle is fluctuating a little bit, but it's still within specifications. Now with the engine idling, you can disconnect the vacuum hose from the fuel pressure regulator and block the holes. You should be able to see an increase of around 10 pounds of pressure. So once the hose is disconnected and plugged, look at your pressure around 62 psi. So it rolls 10 pounds of pressure. It seems to be within specification. So make sure there's no leaks on the hose when you unplug it. Then you plug it back in, it goes back to specifications. Now look at your pressure, it's around 52 pounds of pressure. If we snap your throttle wide open, engine vacuum will go to zero and pressure should increase around 10 pounds of pressure, response to manifold vacuum, as you can see here when we snap the throttle. One more time, and it increases around 10 pounds of pressure. You see the increase and drop, it responds to manifold vacuum. Another way of testing the fuel pressure regulator is simply the vacuum pump. Unplug the vacuum hose, put a plug so you will not create a vacuum leak while the engine is running. Make sure there's no leaks when you disconnect the hose, otherwise the regulator is leaking. Grab a vacuum pump, connect it directly to the fuel pressure regulator. 
and now you should be able to control the regulator by applying vacuum to the regulator using a vacuum pump with no vacuum to the regulator if it's not throttle the pressure is always on the high side it's around 61 62 psi it doesn't respond to manifold vacuum it's always on the high side pressure because there's no vacuum Using the vacuum gauge, you can start applying vacuum to the feed pressure regulator. You will notice that as the vacuum increases, the pressure drops on the gauge. If the vacuum drops, the pressure increases. That's one of the ways you can test the feed pressure regulator that makes sure it responds to vacuum by increasing and decreasing the pressure on the rails. So if we apply up to 21 inches of vacuum it drops around 50 pounds of pressure and you release the vacuum pressure increases around 10 psi so this regulator is working within specifications so you should always get specifications so you can compare the regulator should also hold vacuum on the gauge otherwise it will require replacement you also want to verify that the engine produces proper vacuum disconnect the vacuum source connect the vacuum gauge and now you should be able to measure engine vacuum while the engine is running we'll start a car and you should be able to measure manifold vacuum vacuum gauge shows 20 inches of vacuum pressure 52 pounds of pressure now when you move your throttle you should see a change in your manifold vacuum vacuum should drop and the pressure should increase. And you, see, you can see how the regulator responds to manifold vacuum allowing the pressure to increase or decrease depending on driving conditions. Running several tests like this will help you to determine if the pump or the regulator are working properly or not. Always gather evidence. It's important. Don't guess. Test.